In this video, we're going to have a look at adding dimensions to a 3D view. So at the moment, I have the default 3D view open in this Revit project. Now, dimensions are 2D annotations. Now, when it comes to working on a 3D model, we have to look at what work plane we're adding these dimensions onto. For that, you need to be on, for example, the architecture tab where on the right hand side we have this work plane group. If you click the show button, you can see at any point in time the work place, uh, the work plane that you're working on. And at the same time, this will be where the dimensions are created. We can change the work plane using the set button. In the work plane window that appears, we have three options. We can choose a named work plane, for example, an existing level or grid. We can pick a work plane or we can pick a line and use the work plane that it was sketched on as our current work plane. I'm going to select pick a plane and click OK. With pick a plane, we can left click on a face and set that as our work plane. For example, I'm going to use this wall down here. And you'll see that our work plane has now changed to the extents of that wall. We can now turn the show button off because we know where the work plane is and we no longer need to see the representation for that. To add the dimension, as usual, I just go to the annotate tab and select the aligned dimension tool. For example, I might go from the wall face over here, which if I can just grab that, and I might then go to the end of the curtain wall over here. And I now have that dimension, which I can left click and place. And it's perfectly aligned with that wall face there. Likewise, if I change the work plane back to one of the lower levels, so I'm going to go architecture tab. And we'll show the work plane so you can see what's happening. And I'm going to use a named view. And we're going to set that back to what it was before. With that set, I'm going to do the exact same dimension, or as close as possible. So I'm going to go back to the Annotate tab, Align Dimension. I'm going to start on the wall face over here. I'm going to pick the end of the curtain wall over there. And I'm going to left click and place the dimension. And you can see now how dimension in the exact same two points we have two differently orientated dimensions thank you for watching